Greetings everyone. I'm Dusk and this video is about uh, the Wavelight events, the current events going on. These events were added in the May 3rd patch here. First thing you'll need to do is get a Lodestone. You get this Lodestone by killing uh, Ice Brood, Destroyer, or Branded mobs. It can be any of these mobs at any locations where they spawn at. I've got mine from Stone Dead Drifts, fighting Ice Brood personally. After that, you come here to Lion's Arch, talk to Magister Ella here, give her the stone. She's near White Crane Terrence. Salutations. And she will give you a bunch of vague locations near where the events can occur. The Blaze Rage one is the easiest, it's the closest to the waypoint I found. So that's probably the one we'll be doing in the video. They're all basically the same, some minor differences. Anyways, uh, let's cut till we get there then. Alright, here's the event now. Just came up. We have to defend these pieces of energy, these orbs of energy, balls of energy, whatever. From the Brandon. In this case, Brandon, yeah. In this case, Brandon. If you're in Mount Maelstrom, it will be Destroyers. If you're in Snowden, it will be Ice Road. I feel good. There's an achievement for not letting them destroy any of these Leyline uh, orbs. Not letting them absorb a single one. It's not that hard to do. But there's m much less people now. As most people have done this by this point. Ooh, there's an elite. Very nasty. Did that hurt? Hopefully they're not getting... Yeah, I don't want the little ones. Feel the fury. Sneak away. I feel good. Cause that's how they get you. They distract you, the big ones. While the little branded are really doing the real damage. This is one case where interrupts are actually pretty nice to have. Good way to get them off those things. Mid and Ferdy left. This is easily under control. Yeah, not many branded here. Not many at all. <laughs> you will notice funky color effects. And apparently you can do uh, leyline gliding too. When this is up. I feel good. So I've heard. I don't actually have that unlocked. I want to unlock it, but I guess I just gotta find the time to buckle down and grind for a while. <laughs> Wish it didn't take so long. Five seconds now. I feel good. Yeah, we're easily gonna get the achievement for not letting them absorb a single one. But I already have that achievement, so it's not gonna pop up. I'm not sure what this is really trying to do. This probably is like a test, like people are theorizing. Others say this is like a prelude to the story, like these ley lines. Opening up is going to lead to something big. Here's this event now. Now I got the champion. This thing is a joke and does not scale well against the Zerg. So you'll do fine. It likes to travel around a lot though, so... Time warp is not always going to be great if it moves out of range of the time warp. We'll do it again now. Yeah, see, there it goes. It's got some AoEs, but it goes down very fast for a champion. It's not the strongest thing out there. <laughs> but there we have it. Very simple. If you actually failed the defense event, though, you get a different event, but there's no point in doing so. There's no achievements associated with it. All it does is give you a branded champion instead. 
So keep that in mind. Uh, I guess I might as well show the achievements here, huh? Let's see, current events. <laughs> There's Leyland Cartography. Which is basically you gotta go to all three locations. Simple. Pursuit of Knowledge, which is just giving the stone to Ella. There's Magic Dispersed, which is just defeating these champions times five. And there's Hold the Line, which is don't allow any of the Leyline energy to be absorbed by Dragon Minions, which we just did. So yeah, real simple event, really. I don't know what it leads to, if it really matters or not. If it's really going to evolve and become the next part of Season 3 or something. But we'll find out, won't we? Anyways, this does not off. Have a good one.